Greetings, this is Peter Alexander. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the wrinkle system for a stylized character. There will be two main sections to this tutorial, one for basic users and one for more advanced users. The advanced section will delve into areas of normal map creation and manipulation. I'll be using Character Creator and an image editor known as Krita. I chose Krita because it has a height map to normal map filter which is very useful for non-3D generation of normal map details. Within each wrinkle preset, there are three wrinkle map sets. Each set contains five main texture maps. There's the normal map, which contains a representation of sculpted detail. As well, there are ambient occlusion and crease maps. The last two are the flow and redness maps. In this demo, I'm only going to work with the normal maps because the other maps will work with the changes I'm implementing. The process of adding wrinkles to a character is very simple. Just find a preset in the wrinkle tab of the content window, which is a subsection of the actor properties. Loading your wrinkle preset takes a few moments because as I said, it does take a, a few texture sets to create these effects. After experimenting with the realistic sets, I've decided to apply some of the stylized wrinkle presets included in the wrinkle essentials package. Keep in mind that you can only apply one wrinkle preset at a time. Applying one will overwrite the other, but you can manipulate and combine maps for multiple sets. Character Creator has some facial animations preloaded to the animation player to allow you to check your wrinkles and other animation properties. Once your wrinkle preset is loaded, you can play around with the various settings in the wrinkle panel under Modify. You can adjust the overall influence of the set, and below that you can select parts of the face and apply strength settings to the active part. The strength settings are divided up by map effect. Normal maps provide much of the sculpted detail, but ambient occlusion and redness are significant components, especially for more realistic characters. There's also the speed of the wrinkle effect, which I do not have much experience in using. Adjusting the strength for part of the character's face can be important for a character with like a large forehead and a small mouth, or other combinations of exaggeration. In this part of the demo, I'll show you a method for combining wrinkle map effects with a custom expression. Without getting into the exact mechanics of the system, which I'd probably not be fully accurate in describing, I will say that the expression sliders are linked to the data, which triggers the wrinkle effects. Not all sliders are linked to wrinkle data, but many are especially as it relates to the mouth, forehead, neck, nose, and chin. If you want a more in-depth overview of the relationship between the sliders, the wrinkle data, and the textures, I would highly recommend going to the Real Illusion webpage linked below. There it kind of goes under the hood of the technology and its features. These texture maps are the final textures, which generate the wrinkle effects. Below this is a tier of textures I previously mentioned. It can be a tad confusing, especially if you don't know what these textures do. 
The final texture map is a combination of maps. For example, the character's normal map and the wrinkle normal map would blend together like this. However, you don't want to edit the end result generally, but the only the wrinkle part of the equation, which would be this map here. By default, custom expressions are not linked to the data which triggers wrinkles. Even if you were to use sliders with wrinkle data and then combine them into a new custom slider, the wrinkle data would be lost. There are ways to use the wrinkle data with a custom slider, however. I will go over one such method. Step 1. Dial in your expression components or utilize one of the presets in the facial editor. These presets are linked to the expression components which trigger wrinkles. Once your expression is dialed in, save it as an expression asset. Step 2. Open the Facial Profile Editor. Your expressions will be reset while in this editor for better editing. However, you can apply the expression preset you just created. This will dial in the various sliders which comprise your expression. Now send your character to a sculpting application, preferably ZBrush. Alternatively, you can use the Mesh Editor, which can perform basic mesh sculpting functions. The Mesh Editor also has a soft selection function with a fall-off effect which can help deform the mesh more organically. As you edit your expression, note that the final expression should be a fix, enhancement, or exaggeration of the original expression, as it will use the same wrinkle data. Step 3. While still in the Facial Profile Editor, your character should now have the combined expression dials and the sculpted data. Now reset the expression sliders, leaving only the sculpted data. Step 4. Bake the remaining changes, meaning the sculpted data, into a custom expression. You can now apply both your expression preset and the custom slider you just created. This combined data can now be saved as another character expression preset, which will trigger the wrinkle data. The final expression is now a combination of many partial expression sliders and one custom slider. Each of these can be adjusted independently. Keep in mind that unless another character has a custom expression of the same name, only part of this data will apply to other characters. Now to apply a wrinkle set. I'll start by experimenting with some of the realistic sets. While the realistic wrinkle sets are great, they're not the style I'm looking for. The stylized wrinkle sets have some chiseled wrinkle effects, which probably suit this character better. I find that the groove set is almost perfect, so uh, I will export the maps to a folder and tweak them slightly in a free painting application called Krita. What I'm going to do is add a bit more emphasis in certain areas. I will do this by painting in displacement detail, which will then be converted to normal map detail with a filter layer. Krita is a great tool for 3D artists, as it's been developed with texture artists in mind. There's a filter layer called Height to Normal Map. Add this layer below the original normal map, and then set the original normal map's blending mode to Overlay. This will combine the two normal maps. A third paint layer will allow you to add height. However, to add negative height, 
you'll need to add a gray layer below the paint layer. So I'll add a fill layer with, a gr with gray selected. The gray layer allows the height to normal map filter to read black as a negative value. I'm now painting on the paint layer with white and occasionally some black. Black basically allows you to add deep cuts to your normal maps. The original normal maps in this case are mostly cuts into depth rather than elevation, or I guess you would call it positive depth. As the expression is a boxer being struck in the face, I figured some height or positive height would add more emphasis. You can use tools and brushes like smudge and erase to soften and remove detail. The layer above it calculates the changes so you don't have to worry about the technical aspects of painting a normal map. Since there are three normal maps to edit, you get to practice this procedure three times. Create a gray fill layer, add a paint layer for displacements, add a filter layer with height map to normal map selected, and drag your original normal map to the top with blend mode set to overlay. I'd also like to point out that you can use ZBrush, 3D Coat, Blender, or other applications to create and edit wrinkle maps. This is probably the best 2D method, but 3D sculpting and texturing applications have significant advantages. Just remember that you don't have to start from scratch. Use the presets as both a guide and a foundation for any changes you make. Similarly, when crafting a custom expression, you can use the facial presets as a starting point, especially as those component presets are linked to the wrinkle data. Back in Character Creator, you can load the wrinkle maps from the folder containing the changes you were just working on. Depending on your changes, the effects may be subtle or extreme. It takes a while to get the right look. The changes I implemented are not too extreme, but there is a noticeable difference compared to the originals.
I'm Peter Alexander. Thanks for watching.